in this problem, we're going to be looking at asset retirement obligations that are frequently uh, incurred uh, when we have to purchase uh, natural resources. Once a operation has been completed, often the company is under an obligation to restore the land to a usable condition. If this is the case, Gap tells us that we must use what's known as a weighted average probability approach to determine the fair value of that future obligation. When we record this transaction, it's going to be a bit unusual because we're going to recognize a liability and an equal increase in the asset uh, that we have acquired. So both the asset and liability will be recognized at the same time. Liability is several years typically down the road, so the fair value principle tells us that we have to record the liability at present value, <coughs> which will require us to develop a discount rate that can be used. For this example, we're going to be using exercise 10-4, and it tells us we have a company that has purchased a copper mine. They know at the end of operations, in approximately four years, they have the probability of a cash outflow of somewhere between 300,000 and 600,000. Our engineers, operating people, have put together the probabilities for each of these levels and come up with this amount. And these are all judgments uh, developed on the experience of, of the company. So, Let's go over to our spreadsheet and do our weight and average probability. What GAP says is we use this approach to look at each of the possible uh, outcomes and multiply it by the probability for that outcome. So the probability that our restoration cost would be 300,000, that's been set at 25%, so we'll multiply 300,000 by the percentage. We will do the same for our next two probabilities. All right, so we now have our probabilities for each of the levels. The total probable cost, the weighted average, will be the sum of each of our levels. So that is a total of 445,000. Now we need to calculate that future cost to determine what its present value is. So the probable future cost would be 445,000. We're going to pay this in four years at the ceasing operations at the mine. The problem gives us the discount rate. We're going to use the risk-free rate of interest, which is typical in a textbook land here. This is about where it's higher right now in today's market conditions. It's giving us an interest rate of 10%. It's more like 1% these days. But we'll indicate the 10%. And we will use the Excel formula for present value to make our calculation. discount rate of the number of payments. We're not going to be using the premium amount in this exercise. Instead, 445000 represents future value. We're going to have to pay out. So we'll click that. If we don't want this to return a negative number, we can simply put a minus in front of it. And it will return the Present value of 303941 We will de then develop our cost for the mine. That's going to include our purchase price of $10 million. In addition, they tell us that we are going to be incurring
Jim Cross has developed the mine, and that is going to be 600000 They try to fill this off by talking about some equipment. However, that equipment is a separate asset. You know, we will have a separate journal entry for that. And the final cost will be our restoration cost at the present value. So the total cost of the mine will be a million nine hundred and three thousand five forty one. So we're going to put that asset on our books. So we have an asset mining site. We're going to increase the asset to a debit. We have a separate entry for our equipment. We're going to recognize the liability associated with the restoration at the same time we recognize the asset. It's going to also be equal to the present value. And our corresponding entry, credit entry for cash will be our purchase price if we pay for cash and our development cost plus the equipment. And that is our problem. So again, we use this weighted average to determine the future probable cost we then take that future probable cost and bring it to the present value. That future cost gets added to the value of the asset and is recorded as a corresponding liability. 